individuals don't consciously implement meditation, based on my experience. But I think it's incredibly valuable. We spend so much time around lots of people, lots of technology and noise and stimulus that to get outside and have less of that, whether that means you're hiking a mountain or you're just going for a walk, I think that's pretty important. The ability to observe and to know where you're at, to understand yourself, your body, your mind, you need that contrast to do it. The contrast between loud and quiet, or busy and calm, awake and asleep. And so for me, getting out in the woods is a bit of hitting that reset button to know who am I when I'm not sitting at a desk or doing a show, when I'm not training. I find it helpful. And sometimes when I'm at the top of a mountain or just taking a break, maybe I'm doing some techniques. Maybe I'm throwing a punch or a kick or I find a tree that's nearly fallen down and it's going to go any minute. This looks like it. Can I kick it over? I don't generally do that because you know, you're not supposed to mess with nature on these trails. You're supposed to leave everything be, but I'll admit it. Once in a while, I punch and kick things. How do you take your martial arts out into the world? especially the natural world. I'd love to hear it. You can comment below if you're listening to the podcast. You can go to whistlekickmartialartsradio.com and leave a comment there. I don't know what episode this is. You'll probably know. You can leave some comment on social media. You can write to us. You can email me, jeremy at whistlekick.com. I hope you do. So, I'm going to sign off, and I hope that if nothing else, this subject inspires you to consider how your martial arts relates to your broader life. This is going to come out after an episode that I recorded a couple days ago about the idea of a martial arts lifestyle, and this is an example of my martial arts lifestyle. have a good day. Until next time, train hard, smile, and have a great day. Bye.